is uh, one of the trees that we, of uh, the 14,000 trees we planted on the refuge for a variety of purposes. This is willow oak. Uh, we're here along the French Broad River. Originally there were no trees along the horizontal surface, so we were getting shoreline erosion and uh, we wanted to try to uh, establish trees along here to hold the soil and prevent erosion. These guys produce uh, hard mast acorns, if you will. Uh, other species we planted, plums and crab apples and persimmons, you know, they produce soft mass when they get mature. So again, we're, we're planting trees for a variety of reasons. They provide nesting areas, loafing areas. During summertime when the bats are foraging, they don't all live in caves. They don't all live under tree bark, uh, but where you lack trees, um, these structures will provide some refuge for them. This is uh, a clump of big blue stem, one of the tall grass prairie species we planted here to provide uh, habitat quality um, for, uh, for wintering birds. Uh, we've got it planted with Indian grass, which is another tall grass prairie species. And we have a variety of different of those species combinations planted in different fields uh, to provide uh, both nesting habitat um, during the summertime, spring, summer, and early fall, and also good wintering habitat quality here uh, through the rest of the year for a great variety of grassland birds. You can see the clump effect um, during the summertime or when it's first developing or whatever, it provides excellent areas for grassland bird nesting on the ground at the base of these clumps and then over canopies to uh, protect. Uh, uh, the nest from avian predators for instance but also you can see the open areas at the ground um, and that uh, when the when the eggs hatch uh, the young hatchlings or whatever need the bug protein they get to grow and, and survive it provides a lot of area around the uh, the base of the clump um, for the young to be able to maneuver around and, and acquire their insect uh, nutrition